Elon Musk just turned social media upside down on its head yet again. I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to know because massive opportunities coming your way as a marketer and business owner. Stick around, I'm gonna break it down for you in today's episode. What's up fam, welcome back to Kim & Co. My name is Chris and today we're gonna break down the Twitter name change to X, which kind of bizarre because Elon kind of has an affinity for X. He's got SpaceX and Model X, and then he named his kid some weird combination of letters starting with X, and now X app, which he's been teasing for some time, so it doesn't come as a huge surprise to somebody like myself. It's been tracking very, very closely, but let's go ahead and jump into today how it's gonna affect you as a business owner and a marketer. I have a lot more thoughts on this topic. I'm gonna include the link to the article below where I expand upon some of these ideas that we're gonna cover today, but I'm gonna whittle it down just specifically for you as a business owner, because I feel like a lot of that is just maybe not stuff that necessarily pertains to you, but if you are interested, I'd included that as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. So item number one, it's gonna include audio and video content. Now, that's not entirely different, but the way I think it's gonna be infused is gonna be very vastly different than what we're accustomed to seeing on typical social media platforms. And what I mean by that is this. Let's focus on the video aspect first. The video component, I think, is gonna really try to rival YouTube. It's something that Elon's talked about for a long time. He's been very aggressive on getting certain creators, more specifically Tucker Carlson, to put his content and house it there. He's also been very, very outspoken about content that's been censured on YouTube and having them upload it to specifically Twitter. I think they're gonna incorporate a lot of search functionality and that's kind of what's been the big difference maker with YouTube over other content mediums is that searchability factor, right? If you don't have that aspect included, then you're really relying on a video trending or hitting the right hashtags. And then the lifespan of that actual video content is just not going to be what it is on YouTube because it doesn't have that staying power with the search functionality. I'd be very, very surprised if the new X app doesn't incorporate video in a way that kind of is very similar to what YouTube currently entails and more specifically the search functionality and feature. So look for that to be a massive new addition to the X app, which obviously presents you with huge opportunities to upload your videos there as well, where you have that long-term staying power over what you currently have now, which is again, hoping you just hit the algorithm. Next, let's talk about audio content. So a lot of you are gonna probably think Twitter spaces, and I don't think that's gonna go away. I do think that's gonna be part of the app going forward. However, one thing I really think you're gonna see is yet again, part of the hub that is your actual profile is also gonna be very similar to what you would see with hosting for your actual podcast. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me at all as if the X app actually includes the ability to actually host your content right there in addition to those live spaces interactions that you currently see on the Twitter app. I think Clubhouse was kind of the introduction to that style of, of formatting of content. I'm really intrigued to see what X ends up doing with this and I really think they're gonna push for a lot of content creators, business owners to just host their entire podcast right there inside of the X app. So what I see this being is a massive incorporation of all different types of content media Mediums. I think that is a wise move on the behalf of the X app. And the reason I say that is this, from a business standpoint, this makes all the sense in the world for formerly Twitter, now X app. And why I say that is this, they switched their entire revenue model. They're focused on subscription-based revenue over ad revenue generation. Meaning now their primary source of revenue is people paying for paid verification. And you've seen other social media companies now adopt this, specifically the meta companies like Facebook, Instagram, and now Threads. Well, what that allows for Twitter, now X to end up doing is the ads revenue becomes ancillary. It becomes secondary to the main revenue generation source, which is gonna be paid verification. Now, let's talk about who's gonna be paying for verification because it's not gonna be the random lurker that just wants to get online and talk about politics. It's gonna attract people like you you, like me, creators, business owners, marketers to the space. And the reason that they're incorporating all these different content mediums is to attract those type of people. So when your business is on the X app, you're paying for verification because of all the benefits therein. Now, what ends up happening is they increase their revenue. They've cut dr drastically down on the size of the company. Now the ad spend is secondary. And that leads me to kind of the next point of what we're gonna talk about here today, which is the payments and banking aspect of things. So what I really anticipate seeing, and I think this is gonna be huge, just for all of the content creation or marketing field as a whole is Twitter's really taken an aggressive approach and maybe you saw this, but they're actually paying creators for ad revenue sharing. Meaning if you comment on something or you have a post that gets a lot of engagement, creators of that, that specific tweet at the time 
are actually benefiting from that financially. They're getting huge amounts of, and I saw someone get $22,000, $6,000, $8,000, all for people just engaging with their specific tweet. Now, we don't know if they're still gonna be called tweets. Likelihood is that they won't be called tweets, whatever form of posting you end up doing on the X app, whether it's video content, audio content, or just you know, your static regular posts of just text. Bottom line is, is that they've been very aggressive in being paying those people for their contributions to the platform. This is gonna attract, again, a lot of content creators, a lot of business owners to the platform and more specifically, what it's going to do is it's going to force companies like YouTube and Facebook to also be more aggressive in how they're treating their content creators and their business owners and marketers. So I think you're going to see YouTube stop really axing a lot of their payments to YouTube channel uh, uh, creators. I think you're going to see that that's going to be a trend reversal, much the same that we saw paid verification have a ripple effect across social media. I think it's going to hold them to account. I think YouTube in the past could just censor whatever they wanted because there wasn't viable competition. They could just pay people whatever they wanted. Again, because there wasn't viable competition. The X app is going to kind of force a little bit of more favorable terms for people like you and me. And I think that is a huge, huge net win. But when it comes to the actual creation of your content, some of the things that I've been heard rumored, which could be wildly beneficial for people like you is even profile views are actually likely to be get some kind of a payment. So not just the posts that you make or the things that people engage with, part of that ad revenue share model that they're rolling out, but also simply just engaging with your content from a video view or profile view perspective could also land you some additional revenue. Now, taking that a step further, having that seamless integration, which will 100% include cryptocurrency, by the way, Elon's already included the Doge logo in his location on his profile, so you know that's going to be incorporated. I've heard rumors of Bitcoin as well, but I think it's going to act as an exchange medium to actually buy, trade, sell cryptocurrency right there on the platform. So you getting paid as a business owner, creator, or marketer is going to be very seamless and also very secure, specifically if it's Web3 enabled. You don't need to know what that means. Again, if you want to read more about that, you can check the description below. But all those things are going to be very, very favorable for you. And again, I think it's going to push the social media market completely upside down on its head and force other social media platforms to do much of the same thing. So if you're selling a program or you're selling something there or even just creating content and getting paid for it, like you would with a YouTube channel, the name of the game is completely changed for you. And I think that secure medium of being paid or receiving payment, even from customers for services that you sell, content you've created, I think similar to... Uh, possibly what you see with Twitch or in some cases with TikTok, I think that's going to be integrated. So a lot of robust opportunities for people like you, business owners like you, marketers like you to get paid for the actual value that you provide on the platform. So all those are my immediate thoughts as far as what this means for the future of social media. Again, I think these are things that should have been done a long time ago. Paid verification should have been rolled out a long time ago. That's an awesome revenue model that shouldn't rely solely on ad revenue, which they've done for so many years at this point. Elon forced the market to adopt that. I think this is going to be much the same. I think you're going to see a lot of things look very similar, and yet they're going to continue to roll out things that look completely different than what social media has currently entailed. But overall, I think it's going to be an amalgamation of a lot of things that already exist, just kind of seamlessly integrated together and making things way more favorable for you, the business owner, marketer, or creator. So I hope all that makes sense. Again, if you want to learn more about this particular topic, make sure you check the description below for more on this specifically. And honestly, just it's an exciting time. I think we're seeing a lot of equilibrium in the market. So be thankful for the fact that we have competition in the marketplace because it only is going to serve and benefit you in the long haul. All right, guys, while you're here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications for more content like this. And also too, in the comments below, what do you think I missed? What do you think is going to be involved with the X app that I didn't discuss here today? We'd love to hear your thoughts as well. See you guys in the next one.